All right, YouTube, what's going on? Coming back at you today with another knife review. We're looking at the TC Barlow, um, also known as a Charlo. This is in the rust red jigged bone. These are a on the number 15 pattern, made by Tiddy Oot Cutlery. I think I'm actually saying that wrong. I think it's Tiddy Oot Cutlery. Um, also designed by Charlie Campania. That's why they're called a Charlo, another reason for that. What a, what's so cool about traditional knives? Look at this packaging. It's just old school. You know, you got this 1095 carbon steel. Tells you the steel right here. Stew's blade, Sawyer Barlow, Charlie's hook and bait, Charlie Campania, P.O. Box. You know, it's got the address washed in the whole nine yards. Really cool. So awesome little knife number 15 rust red jig bone so look at the knife this is one of my all-time favorite uh, patterns for a traditional knife the Barlow uh, I've got a few others we'll kind of show here in a minute to compare it to but I love these bigger bolsters um, and the TC on there it's really just really great uh, really nice little touch just it's such a classy little knife it's got a, a good pull. Um, I'd say I'd call it a five on the pull. It's a short pull. It doesn't have the long nail nick there. And this one is the clip point blade. So you can see here, it's got a somewhat of a patina forming. It's not too bad yet. Um, I'm not a huge patina guy. I don't like really love patinas. And with the the 1095 carbon steel, I typically We'll use the uh, Aegis Solutions EDC. Uh, I've been using this forever. And this does a great job of helping uh, prevent corrosion. So I spray these on my 1095 blades and they tend to hold up really well. So so the Charlo, very highly sought after, no longer made. Um, secondary market on these is pretty high. They're, I've seen some go over $200 on YouTube. This is a really good example of one right here. I paid a little, I paid quite a bit less than that. I paid a little bit more than they were sold for, but not much, which was nice. Uh, this was one I had to have in my collection. This is definitely one that's going to stay with me for a while, and one that'll pro hopefully be uh, passed down to my son. It's just such a classic style, such a well executed knife. Uh, great Ace and Cutler did a great job on this one. There's zero gap in any of the bolsters. Just perfect fit and finish, no blade play, nice and solid. Just a prime example of a traditional knife. So the 15 pattern is um, kind of on the, I wouldn't call it smaller, maybe the medium size. Uh, let's compare it here to a 77 Barlow. This is the new, I will do another video on this knife separately. But this is the new Northfield um, Barlow. They call it the Marlow because it's a medium sized knife it's on the 77 frame so you can see it's quite a bit smaller not quite I mean it's just a titch smaller up here this is a single blade they did make the Charlo in a double blade as well many different variations of the handle scales as well um, this is a smooth red bone I'm not sure probably most likely the Charlo did come in that kind of out um, I've seen the saw cut bone I've seen the stag so I'm not, I'm not sure if it came in a, any kind of camel bone like this. This is a red camel bone. but So that's a good comparison there for you on that frame. And here is another Barlow, which is a K-Bar. And this is about almost identical in size. Now this is a double blade as well. And this has got a copper bolster. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that knife as well. But some comparison shots for you. The overall size of this knife closed is and that's what's kind of fun about traditionals is when people tell you they list the size of the knife they don't list it with the blade extended they list it as it's closed it's just under three and a half inches maybe 3.3 3 inches long uh, the blade is like I said 1095 high carbon steel and it's about two, just shy of two and a half inches. 
so it's uh, a pretty small little knife. These knives are absolutely perfect to pair with your um, modern folder if you need a one-handed opener, like the Chris Reeves Sabenza carbon fiber and Singo. Yes, that's another beautiful knife. These make a good little watch pocket knife. They fit in there just perfectly, non-locking. Um, you know, if you just need a small knife to do a small task, if you're going to peel an apple, if you're going to what with some wood, you know, or if you just want don't want to raise a lot of awareness or attention to yourself. Um, and this is a small Sabenza. I used to carry a lot of large Sabenza, which is much bigger. So, but these are nice for that. Um, it's great, great as a secondary carry. And I mean, really, honestly, you could get everything you need to done with that knife as well as a primary carry. But I typically carry two knives. Sometimes it's either a modern folder like this, and a traditional, or it's a Swiss Army knife and a traditional or Swiss Army and a modern, just kind of mix it up, so that out of there. So the Tom's Choice Barlow, one of my favorite designs, was very excited to, to snag one of these at not a horrible price. Like I said, some have been going um, for insane prices on the secondary market, so. Again, greatest in cutlery, titty out, titty out, titty out. I'm probably butchering that, so someone that's more, um, more uh, experience with traditional knives can correct me on my pronunciation there, but basically GEC has Northfield and they have titty out uh, cutleries, so branches, and one of the other produces these knives for them, or excuse me, not for them, but that's their two uh, divisions, I guess you'd say, so locations, I'm not sure how it really shakes out, but Northfield tends to be the higher end, I think, um, but I could be wrong, uh, but this is a great example out of titty out, so... All right, guys, uh, that's all I'm going to really talk about today, about the Tom's Choice Barlow. Um, this was one of my first traditionals, actually, that I bought next to the Northfield. The North, excuse me, the Northwoods. Uh, Fremont Jack was my first, and this was my second. So, awesome little knife. All right, guys, any questions or comments, leave them down below, and we will see you next time.